Unit 27 Expressions to Sound Persuasive and Convincing Most people's jobs require them to influence other people a lot of the time. This could include convincing your boss to deserve a raise, inspiring your team to finish a project, cajoling a colleague to do a presentation for you, getting someone to see your point of view in order to have their support at a meeting. Influencing can also involve persuading other people to be your champions so they will in turn be able to provide access to areas you don't have any direct route to now. We call this expanding your spheres of influence and it can be key to making your presence felt without appearing out of line. You may try to exert your influence through coercion and manipulation. You might even succeed in getting things done. That isn't really influencing. That's forcing people to do what you want, often against their will. You won't have succeeded in winning support. Real influencing skills are far subtler and fairer than that. They require good interpersonal and communication skills and an ability to get other people want to support you. An interesting point about people who use their influencing skills well is that other people like being around them. There's a kind of exciting buzz or sense that things happen when they're about. Why is that? Well, think about it for a second or two. They don't sit around wishing things were different while moaning there is nothing they can do about it. They also don't sit around blaming others or complaining about what needs fixing that will make things better. They fix stuff. And sometimes the most influential person in a company isn't the one at the top. It's the one who knows how to get to the one at the top. Being persuasive is a matter of the way that you say. It could mean intonation. It could mean selecting a phrase that is appropriate to the context or to the person within it. You can improve your skills of persuasion. Trying to persuade. Are you sure you ought to send that complaint? You really should invite your boss, you know. That's quite a good idea, you know. He's an excellent teacher, actually. Don't be silly, John. It's not that expensive. Don't forget that he's your uncle. What about your friends? What about the time and energy you've already invested, then? Don't you think you should do something for your institute? I could do with your support, you know. I can assure you of my full support. Trying to convince. I can guarantee. I tell you, it's a fact. I tell you, it's true. I tell you, it's certain. I'm absolutely certain. I saw him just now, really. I saw it with my own eyes. I saw it myself. I can assure you. It's quite true. It must be true. It's here in black and white. It's crystal clear. Yes, really, it's quite true. Don't you feel that he could have been mistaken? You see, the training there is excellent. But can't you see that he is interested in the idea? That's all I know, honestly. But you must admit that he did all he could. But surely you must agree that this is an extraordinary case. He is honest, I can assure you. It's here in writing. Isn't it possible that he doesn't know anything about it? Look, I saw it myself. Honestly, it's quite true. I can guarantee that you'll get a promotion soon. But don't you agree that he was not in station at that time? This is the best quality we can get. There is no doubt about it. Insisting on or on doing. I insist on a written report from him. I insist you do it. I'm afraid you'll have to do it. I want to know when you will do it. I don't mind waiting. It's very important. I won't go until you give me a full refund. I'm not leaving until I know. I'm sorry, I can't accept that. You must go and meet the director. You simply must do it. You really must help him. You will come before 5 in the evening, I insist.
You will have to finish it by tomorrow. You must stay for dinner. You must stay for lunch. I insist. You do stay for tea. It's essential that you meet him. If you can't help me, I would like to see your boss. 